Going around the table, do you think you will be better looking in 10 years' time, starting with you? Go ahead. Yes. All right. What about uh, better, better looking in 20 years' time? So you're 18, better looking at 28, yes? Yes. Better looking at 38? No. Okay. All right. What about you? Yes. Uh, you're 18, so better looking at 28, better looking at 38? Maybe. I... Mm, yeah. Yeah. Better looking at 48? No. Okay. What about you? No. Not better looking in 10 years? Okay. Uh, you're 55. Yes. Yep. Uh, <laughs> She's already looks so good, you guys. I oh, my I God. Looked, I look better now than when yeah. I was 20. You look better now than you, when you were 20. Yep. And then do you think you'll be better looking in 10 years' time? Whatever yes. age you are. Yeah. You mysterious person, you. <laughs> uh, yes. And will you be better looking in 20 years' time? Um, by then, yes. Because there are so many things that are going to come up, for sure. Mm -hmm. I'll be <laughs> an alien. <laughs> What about you? Better looking in yes. 10 years time? Yes. 20 years time? Yes. 30 years time? Yes. 46? <laughs> so 56, 70, uh, 66, I'm, I'm, 76. I'm going to die really okay. wise and sure. of course. fulfilled and yes. But it's about looks. But uh, yeah, 46, are you, uh, are you better now, excuse me, better looking now at 46 than you were at 18? Yes. Better looking now than at 28? Yes. Yeah. Better looking now at 46 than at 36. Yes, because my core got stronger and I got to... But it's about looks. Well, I don't value... So if I, I don't even <laughs> dispute as you get older, you can become more attractive personality-wise or who you well, are as a person. Absolutely. understand. Well, yeah, but attractive on that realm, but on the physical realm, which is what we're talking about. So physically that's, that's gorgeous... About ugly on the inside. How would you rate that person? Wait, so physically, physically gorgeous. gorgeous. I would say that ugly. she's physically gorgeous, but she's a terrible person. Okay, but how overall would you rate that person? Overall. In totality. You, you have, yeah, you have to give her a score. I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll even grant to you that a woman who ha who's average looking... Uh, or even below average looking, but who has a remarkable personality, is in totality more attractive yep. than a beautiful woman who's awful. There you I'll, go. No, no, That's no. my answer. Sure, I'll even <laughs> yes, but in totality. But when when we're narrowing down, when when we're getting into uh, speci specificity, is that a word? S yes. Specifics. Yes. Specifics. Yes. Yeah. That specificity probably. is a word. Yes. Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate it. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm talking about beauty uh, is the I'm, Yeah, physical beauty. Physical yes, beauty. Yes, and physical beauty projects through the beauty on the uh, yeah, inside yeah. of the person. Okay, so I'll, yes. even grant, I'll even grant that, for example, uh, a man or a woman who is, who is smiling and has a positive disposition, it will manifest itself in, their, uh, in appraisals of their physical attractiveness. I'll even grant that. But... It's not enough to, like, tip the scales, really. So the question is how I would feel, correct? How I would feel. Not the other people would that, feel, but how I would feel about myself, correct? Not how you would feel, how you, I hope you would think with reason and logic. Yeah, and I, I'm thinking that the person that I would be beautiful when I'm 60 and 70 and has nothing to do with the physical looks. Can I ask you a question? Sure. So... <laughs> We put you in a room with uh, your, you said better looking in 10 years. Oh, okay, we won't even use that. You're 46. We're going to put you in a room with your 26-year-old self, right? We'll put you in self? a room. With a 26-year-old self? Your clone when you were 26 mm -hmm. in a room. Yep. And there's men in there. There's 100 men in there, different background, different age. <laughs> um, sure. So all different ages. Which one of the two women is going to be able to outcompete the other when it comes to getting 
romantic interest from the men in the room? So the question is how I evaluate uh, myself or how answer the question. others I need you evaluate to answer the me. question. I need you to answer the question. Okay, how others would evaluate me, definitely they would choose somebody who is younger and definitely how others. Because... Because, because younger she's, body, younger she's what? body. No, but but because she's what? Hot. More physically attractive. Oh. <laughs> oh. You see, my okay. value system does not go with the looks. My value system goes with the combination who the person is on the inside as well. I don't value. So were you people. a piece of? You were twenty-six. I did not have the knowledge that I am. Uh, is that what now. men care about? I care about it. No, do you think men I, care about I, that? Do men care about, <laughs> about it? No. Well, you said your knowledge. <laughs> I'm talking no about about, uh, about who I am as a person on the inside, about my core. So you're saying human. you were just a terrible person at 26. I was going through very big transitions in my life. Big you were transitions. a man? No. <laughs> you used to be no. a man? No, I went through uh, very heavy trauma, big, 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 big mm. traumas. That's how I'm able to understand people. I went through like yeah. so many well, things. Well, that's, that's fair, but um, was, was your trauma so severe that it was like visible? Like if you were just walking to the grocery store when you were 26, was it like palpable? Was it visible to like someone who just walked by you? Like uh, were you crying your way to the grocery store? Uh, there were mom moments like this as well. Yes, absolutely. Okay, yeah. so, but I assume you weren't crying 24-7. Not 24-7. Okay. So assuming these hundred men in this room didn't actually have five minutes to interact with either of you, and they were making appraisals on your physical appearance, which of the two would outcompete? The guys would choose younger and hotter physically wise. Yes. But this is not how I feel like about myself. That's where okay. my question right. is. Is it how okay. others would judge me or how I judge myself? All right. Okay. Well, we and were, so we go we around were, the table. I, I'll just move it on. Um, going around the table, better looking in 10 years' time. Can I ask her one question sure. first? Go ahead. I just like lost because we work in matchmaking. So if, I mean... Maybe I, <laughs> I don't know. Our industry is pretty small. We generally do things the same. Usually you present a profile of a woman with photos and a bio. And if the man is not attracted, he's going to pass. I don't care if I say to him, oh, but she's a great person. She's done a lot of growth. He doesn't care. He's like, sure. cool, I'm not attracted. So Absolutely. like, you, you can but, say all this, but, but like, to put it come in on. The shell, to, to make the shell, that's easy. That's like what our makeup, hair, right clothes, like uh, Nick uh, posted this uh, statement there. That's easy. How can you transform the personality? You can't in one hour. So when you've presented a woman to one of your clients and he says, I'm not attracted, I when you make, when you say she's a great person, does he has he ever changed his mind? I can make any woman look beautiful on the outside in a matter of hour. That yeah, is yeah, but you easy. didn't answer me. Has he ever changed his mind when you said she? But she's a great person and she's done a lot of growth. I do not present my females based on just personality. It has to be a combination. So I was right, talking so about the if a guy passes on photos. Do you try to convince him and say, like, if he, and, and you say, oh, she has a great personality, has he ever oh, changed his mind? Oh, that is a huge, idea. that is a bonus, because as you know, I mean, there is Has he ever changed his mind? About what, whether Going he on the her, date or if, not. If she was actually great as a person? If, if he wasn't attracted, he said, I'm not attracted. And you're like, well, she has, she's grown a lot. No, she's a I, great no, personality. I know has the clients cannot, ever changed his mind? You cannot uh, change man's mind. Men cannot exactly. visualize. Men need to. They are making yes. a decision on what, what is in front of them. So, but if I put the makeup on that girl, put uh, the right clothes, and that it will it will be completely. You, different. He's still not. He's still not changing, changing his mind. Wait, 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 in my wait, 30 years. You make the girl hotter. You mean yeah, make the girl no. hotter? Then you can change the mind. <laughs> Yeah. If you He's put the makeup on the girl, if you put, uh, if you style her hair, if you put mm -hmm. the right clothes on her, she definitely will get a couple of points. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, no, no, it no, no. I, I get it. But, but think about what your argument is here, right? Your argument is literally her argument. You're saying, so if you make the girl hotter, she's going to be more appealing, right? That's, that's the Yeah, but uh, uh, men, yes, they need to, they're making choice based on what is in front of them. Men cannot visualize what she can be. If you put the makeup on her no, and no, style they, her they hair. Just, they just don't get Right, they don't care. Man, yeah, like they, they if they, they said they no, they, they said they no. Care. What is the potential they're looking for? They're looking for the potential of good mother, right? Good homemaker, things like that. No, no, it's here's the things they don't. Here's the things they don't usually care and that's about. That's where they personality don't care matters. About your career trajectory. They don't yeah. usually care about your girl hobbies. They usually don't give a shit about any of that, right? They don't care about any of that. 
they care about uh, kind of some feminine qualities and then how hot you are. So it's not, it, it, I mean, it's not rocket science really for men. They care about base, the core. The core, that's what I'm talking about. If the woman has a core, core. You, yes, core on the inside. Oh, is she Tell gonna be core. like six But pack? you just said initially pack, he's no, gonna pass if he's not initially attracted. So the uh, argument is to doesn't make matter. someone attractive, that's easy. It's not easy if the guy pass. Look, men have types, okay? I have clients, they have all different types, all right? I have two clients right now. Their type is tall, beautiful, curvy, blonde. That's what they're attracted I have to. Lots they're they're of like, clients don't present like me any. Anyone well. else that doesn't look like this, and then I'd love to know about her. Then I have another guy. He's into very slender, size two, brunette, exotic-looking women. And what is your strategy you are using for those type of guys as a matchmaker? I'm going to present them, the women that look like that, and then based on their personalities, like who would be the best match? But ultimately, we can't change a man's type. And actually, I encourage you to be with a man whose type you are. It is the best-case scenario so for you. So you gave a man just physical look just physical look what he's looking for i have also, i give him a profile to read and about yeah, her and I also tell him have, about her and i, I know her clients who are plastic surgeons and those are the most freaking difficult ones that they have to have a uh, certain uh, symmetrical face a symmetrical right, so, this, you, symmetrical so you know what, that, what i'm talking and, about so you can't be like i feel this way and i'm going to be more attractive in 20 years like that's not societally accurate when we're talking about the type of relationship that i create as a matchmaker i create fulfilling and loving relationship i look at the end result I understand okay. you want to create so, that, but I think you're lying to yourself about the I initial stages that. of our process, which is a man has to be initially attracted to Absolutely. give. But I'm saying it's easy to do. That one is easy. That's not easy. To create, to you're make saying you can change beautiful. her, I can put makeup on her? No. That's easy, but All right. personality, I mean, you cannot change no. that. So I'm looking at the core of the person because I know the physical look I can entice very easily. Very easily. Even but if I he passes and says no initially, I'm not attracted to this woman. You think you can present him the same woman a month later with makeup and clothes? And Absolutely, he's gonna say, I've done no. it. No, try it. No, try it. Um, I'm not gonna try it. I'm <laughs> good. It. it works. I'm, I'm good. I'm not gonna try it's it. And the man, war they of would not even. No. Uh, they could not Brian, even imagine that this is the same person. Brian, I'm what like, do you think? this is the girl you They're said find no to. What do I think about if you if if she What's presented you a woman and you passed, you're just like, no, I'm just not initially attracted. I'm sure she's a great person, but I'm not initially attracted. And then I put uh, create a different pictures. I put the makeup on her. I put the right clothes on her. He I hates style, makeup. He's saying I, no. I style her hair. Uh, and so on, and I show him the same woman, different photos. He will not even know it is the same girl. But I am. But I am so al always honest with my clients. I say, okay, but this girl, okay. you actually initially pass uh, pass on. This one, you said no to. Well, how yeah. substantial? I mean, look, a woman could, uh, in terms of her presentation, when it came to like how she. Uh, her look or whatever she could change it and then the appraisal could change but, but I mean it's not about the to be charitable but then generally speaking yes I would agree here that uh, I mean the initial appraisal is probably going to be consistent with any secondary appraisals the core of the person that's what matters to change the outside that's easy but if I uh, that's what I ask you the question like she is gorgeous on the outside and ugly on the inside men do care about your core yeah we care but about only it. when they're initially attracted and they get to know you but what I'm saying that initial attraction to entice it in um, enhance it in the woman is easy same with men by the way, you can enhance it, but you can't change a man's type. So, in my opinion, if my client passes, I'm going to respect that. That's not his I'm type. I'm not saying and about I'm changing move on. the I'm type. I'm going to show him someone else. I'm not saying about changing the type. All right. Uh, well, anyways, uh, maybe we can come back to it later. I'm happy to answer. Uh, so, uh, better looking in 10 years? Did we leave off? With yeah, we left off with me. Uh, okay. No, I'd love to be, but no. Yeah. And that's why, ladies, you have to marry an older husband with an age oh, gap. There you go. <laughs> yeah, because okay. then you're always the young, how, hot how, one to him. How old's your husband? He's only eight years older than me. Oh, that's not. But no, it's it's not it's not crazy. But I do think you need like you need some sort of a gap. Like you'd be surprised. Women say no to me all the time. They won't even date someone ten years older than them. They're like, I don't like that. Like if, if they're forty, they won't go out with a fifty year old. And I'm like, you've mm. got to be kidding. So I you need a gap. Like I'm not 
for women even dating younger men like you can do it you can have fun you can you can you know be that that girl but Mm. ultimately I mean I don't think it's good for your self-esteem like I know in my relationship I'm always like the young hot pretty one and that's how I feel and I think you should marry older (laughs) okay so it's a form of manipulation it's not a form of manipulation. It's just I think it's a good dynamic to be with someone older because societally, you know, at, at I'm 37, at 47, no, I'm not going to feel as good as I do now. It's just a reality. Well, that's not really what you said. You didn't say anything about how you feel. You said that according to your Yeah, I said my relationship makes me older. feel pretty and the younger one because I am factually younger by eight years yeah, than right, my husband. Right. So, so it's a form of manipulation, right? No. Word. Word. I don't know. No. How is that a form of manipulation? Anything wrong? Listen, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. Look, I this is a patriarchal I society. Argument, women, I'll women, I'll explain. Look, if women. Give me a second. I can explain. We even said dating too. economics. No. Women go down as they age. Like, unfortunately, that is just a fact of life in this patriarchal yeah, society. And men go up. Okay, so men even get better looking with age. So I think if you want to go against, if you want to have the best odds in your favor of your relationship lasting, you should have an older partner. Yeah, right. That's but, not manipulation. So, so, so here's the thing, though. Yeah, it is, and I'll explain why. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> yeah, I was just. You remember the part where I said I'll explain why, and then he cut me off. Go ahead. Are, are you sure? Is that okay? So anyway, um, here's here's why. The, the reason is is because uh, you're you're basically doing an exchange, right? You're saying, okay, if a 20 year old girl goes after a man, let's say he's 30, 35, something like that, there's a 15 year age gap there. Um, she is going after him for resources, he's going after her for beauty, right? That's been essentially well, that happens what's going every on. day. I mean, we, I'm sure. Yeah. So the the, the counter argument against the age gap is that men like this are predatory because they're going after uh, you know dumb young women who are just too stupid to make their choices because they're freshly eighteen, whatever the fuck. That I never means, said right? a large age gap. I never said my husband's sixty or date someone much older. I said an age gap. You yeah, know, why mine's eight matter? years, so you're changing yeah, it into like predatory were... fifteen year gaps. That's not what I'm yeah, talking that, about. Why would that be a problem though if there was a fifteen year gap? I have a sixteen year a fifteen year old difference with my husband. Okay. I I'm, all for it. I'm just I saying that's him. not what I was talking about though. So I was Yeah, I mean, an age gap's an age gap. You wanna be right? Like at eight years, ten years, fifteen, who cares? I feel yeah. like twenty years is different than eight, why? ten. I mean it's, it's just different. It's just Yeah, more. I know it's different, but like, what's what's our distinction here? Like, aren't we aren't we going for the same thing? Basically, women get resources, men get young hot chick, right? That's what we're going well, after. Men, would you agree that like men are generally after younger women, and yeah, for a reason absolutely. because younger sure. women are more attractive in this society? Yeah, it doesn't make it fair. Fertility. It's just it's true. Because of the society, it's because of fertility. Right. It's all societies. Yeah. It's because Fertility. younger no, women fair. are fertile. Why, if you believe that evolution is true, yes. then why wouldn't they go for fertile women? And fertile women are not going to be old women. They're going to be young women. That's it. so. Of course, they're going to be attracted to that, right? That yeah. I'm not. I'm not disputing any of that. What I'm saying, though, is that the argument against the age gap is that these older men are predatory. I was giving you an opportunity to say, no, they're not yeah, predatory. I don't. I don't what's believe they're predatory. On, yeah, what's don't. going on is that is that younger women know exactly what they're doing, going after them because they have a much more stability and resources, right? They're not just young, dumb, stupid women who don't know nothing, and the evil predatory man is going after them. Absolutely, right? most women want to date happening. older. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you see, if you would have given me a chance to explain before you jump to your emotional conclusions like you always so do, I was giving you a great layup, and you just, you fucked it up. You know, great layup. Well, we agree. That's up. great. We came to an agreement, finally, in the show. You would have come to nothing but agreements, but, you know, you got to let me talk, right? At least get the position out there. The floor is yours. So, Anyway. So, you know, we were answering question though, right? Yeah. So the question be more attractive in ten years. Yes. Yeah. And I, I think you do you want to continue. Yeah. I already. She. Answered. No, I said. I said no. Not in ten years. No way. You I know. wish, but no. I don't want to be forty-seven. It's super <laughs> scary. I was saying to her the other day. I was like, I'm so scared. Like, fish. I don't want to age. Like, this is just not. Like, I mean, yeah. No, it's bad. Especially when you become a mom. It's extremely fulfilling. It's it's lovely. But you change your whole identity. Your entire looks and identity change. And I mean, my iPhone just likes to haunt me. It's just like it just like my iPhone trolls me. It's like this was you five years ago. I'm like, bitch, don't show me that. I was so beautiful. I don't want to see that right now. Like, anyway. So with age no you're never gonna look the same 
Do you want to answer? Ten years? Uh, yeah. I will rate myself ten, yeah. What? In ten years? <laughs> yes. In twenty years? Ten. Thirty? Ten. Forty? Ten. Hundred. Interesting. <laughs> Are you going to try to do Brian again? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, do you want to go? Um, I don't think I will look, uh, look for 10. Uh, I will be 46. Um, mm -hmm. I want to be realistic. Hopefully, I will be feel better like for 10 and physically and emotionally. But I don't think. <laughs> so 56, same, 66. I think uh, I'll be just feel myself more confident. 66, like mm -hmm. 56, whatever. But I, I don't so you think, think you're like more uh, attractive when you were 26. Um, when you were 26, then now? Um, no, 26. I was. Uh, I think um, I was like a girl who don't know what they what she wanted, and you know, like uh, now I think. Um, I feel myself like really great with 36. Um, yeah. The person who has a base inside, they will feel comfortable yeah. no matter oh, which that age. That core you're talking about and all People this stuff. who don't have the base, they will right. be scared I'm, I'm, of the yep. looks and changes. Uh, so did we get an answer on the better looking in 10 years time? Yeah. Yes. We did? Yeah. Yes. So wait, it was, uh, I'm sorry, I was gone. I had to step away, so I'll apologize to the viewers. I do have to repeat. Um, you're 30, correct? You? Yeah, I said 10. Uh, so will you be better looking in 10 years time at 40? Yes. Will you be better looking in 20 years time at 50? Yes. Will you be better looking in 30 years time at 60? Yes. Will you be better looking in 40 years time at 70? Yes. <laughs> 50 years time at 80. Yes. Uh, yo, Duran, thank you for the gift of 20 subs. Better looking at, in 60 years time at 90. Until I die. Would okay. you be better looking if tomorrow a meteorite hit next to you and splashed you with hot lava and it melted half of your face and they reconstructed as best they could but you basically, one of the eyes was constantly popped out of its socket, and the entire cheek was melted off, and you could see your teeth right through it, and your tongue was hanging out of the side, and you always spoke slurred from then on forevermore. Would you be hotter then? I think we have different um, definition of beautiful, so... Yeah, no, would oh you be God. hotter then, though? Wait, 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 let's actually explore this. Oh, this Answer, wait, hold on, no, no. Answer Andrew's question, but then also define beautiful. Um, so, eye popping out, will you be more attractive? <laughs> is that your question, Andrew? Yeah, well, I mean, like, my question was, yeah, half your face is melted off, your tongue's sticking out of the side of your teeth, you're, you just have a socket where your eye used to be. Are you, uh, you you're hotter then? I will feel hor horrible, and I will not think about how beautiful I look like. I will have different thoughts if this really happens. So, But I not in 97? Not in 97. In 97, you have Depends and like a little thing of milk next to you. You're going to feel really hot at 97 when someone comes in and is changing your Depends. You're going to feel super hot then? or I will feel super hot myself. Yeah. Um, okay, and you're 30 now. Were you better looking 10 years ago when you were 20? Yeah. Is that your, like, I know you're kind of trolling or whatever. You just want to be kind of, uh, what, what's the word for it, Andrew? Uh, like contrarian or? Yeah. Uh, well, that... I mean, in this, case, in this case, so your beauty standards is based off of how you feel, right? Yes. Okay, so you wake up on a Tuesday, you feel like shit, you're what? What does your beauty, like, on your worst day, the day that you feel the worst, what are you on that day? In my worst days, I don't look how I look like. I more care about um, that days I feel more depressed. Private and I chat. Don't talk uh, about anything. Nick, can you take over? I don't want to think about anything. Mostly I just lay down and try to... Yeah, but, but like hot-wise, what, what are you on your worst day? The day where you feel the worst about yourself, what are you then? I don't feel beautiful if I feel awful myself. 
Yeah, right. So what would you rate yourself then when you feel like that? Zero. What? Zero. You'd rate yourself a zero? Yes. So what we've established is that you have no standard for what is beautiful, right? All that your standard is is just internally how you feel, and how you feel is supposed to reflect. So how does how you feel reflect the reality of what is true? For beauty, yeah. How? should go inside me to feel it, <laughs> just how I feel. Well, then let's test and see if this is true. Are there women on planet Earth who are prettier than you? Even one. I don't compare myself with others. I also already mentioned it. Oh, you, 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 don't, you, you don't have any beauty standard for women at all? No. Not for men either? Andrew, she actually does, because earlier when I asked the question, have you ever seen a beautiful woman with a mid guy, she answered in the affirmative that yes, she has seen a beautiful woman with a mid guy, which means she can make determinations as to physical attractiveness. Yeah, value judgment. So, so apparently you can judge whether or not a woman is attractive and if a man is less attractive than her. Otherwise, how could you ever see a woman who's more attractive than the man she's with unless you're judging that one is more attractive than the other? That's bizarre. Can you explain that to me? When you asked that question, I was thinking a lot, and I didn't like raise my head right away. I was thinking, and um, this is what conclusion I made recently about beauty. Again, I said I went through some um, mental, like it was hard after moving. So I feel I, f I feel judged myself. I was judging myself because of my look and it didn't help to me. So that's why I changed the strategy for myself. So that's why I, I'm i rating myself for 10. It's not personal to anyone. It's only my opinion. And this is how I think. And I'm, I see how you're trying to ask these questions. But okay, well, yeah. let me ask you a different way then. Let me ask you a different question altogether. Do you know what a beauty pageant is? No. Where they, where men determine how pretty a woman is? First time hearing this. Okay. Um, so let's assume for a second that you were on a stage and there was 500 men and they had to rate your beauty against other beautiful women who were on the stage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you think that those men would all give you a 10? We should see. Um, I don't think so. Yeah. Different no. Okay. People. You don't think so. Yeah. Right. What do you think they'd give you? I don't know. If you had to guess. Um, if I to guess, five, six, maybe. Hmm. Why do you think they'd give you a five or a six? I just come up with middle something middle because I, I'm sure that somebody will like it, somebody doesn't like it, and. So you I think that men like so you think men consider your looks to be average? Yeah. Okay. I'm done with my inquiry there, Brian. Hmm. Why the difference? Hmm? Why the difference? What's what? Your own self is are so are all the men wrong? Other people can think about me, about my look, whatever they want to hmm. think. Are they wrong though? No, they're not wrong. Everybody have all. Oh no, they sure rates. they can make judgments, mm -hmm. but collectively, you said they would rate you a five. Are they wrong? No, they're not wrong. So then you're a five. I just answered his question. I don't think I am five. I just I answered his question. An average if all right. from zero to ten, the middle will be five. So this is. Wait, can I'm you rate me? I will not. Or did she rate me already? No. What did she get? No. Oh, can you rate me? I won't be offended. Go ahead. I don't want to rate you. I only can On rate myself. Go ahead. No. No, I mean, you don't have to. Um, I would just be curious on that. You want to give me a rating? No, I don't want. I don't want to play this game with you. Okay. I mean, not really a game, but okay. Uh, and then going to you. Now, I know you're not a natural Wait. beauty, oh, sorry, but I think I with know. the right clothes and the right look, you could be very striking. <laughs> Nick. Sorry. Okay. Uh, you're 36. Or will you be better looking in 10 years' time? Uh, you mean 46? Well, you're 36. Will you be better looking in 10 years' time at 46? 
Um, not, I, I don't think so. Okay, and were you, you're 36, uh, were you better looking uh, at 26 than you are now? Mm, I think uh, now I feel better and look better. Okay, uh, and then uh, 18 versus now at 36. 18. Better looking at 18. I think uh, my body was look um, like I was more fit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Um, hmm. Do we pull up the? I mean, not for her, but maybe we could pull up the Instagram. Can we? You're fine if we pull up your Insta, your Instagram and you have some pictures from like seven years ago. Seven <laughs> I think from 2015, so it's not exactly 10 years, but. No, hold on. Are you fine with if we pull these up? Yeah, sure. You're fine with it? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so it's not exactly 10 years ago, but she's 30s uh, now. So scroll down a little bit. Uh, how about the, the, the teddy bear photo? Click, <laughs> oh. click the teddy bear photo. <laughs> All right. That's profile. November 29th, 2015. So nine years ago, right? Wait. Yep. Would that be nine? About nine years ago. Yeah, it was when I first arrived to U.S. Uh, okay. So X. Seattle. Huh? No, it's okay. Uh, yeah, the other we'll come one back to the it. 10 years. Which one? The wedding. wedding the one very bottom my one? brother's wedding. Wait, what? The, where is with flowers wedding? I, I, I guess mean, it's you're, 10 years it's, ago. You're, I, I, if you're wearing sunglasses, you're looking to the side. No, not, not flowers. Oh, In okay. The oh, okay. Uh, sure, I guess. This one? The second one. No, the middle. second one I got? No, 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 no. The second one? Yeah. Okay, well, eyes closed, side profile. Okay. <laughs> Click the first, is the first, uh, the first one even you? Don't click it yet. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Oh, okay, click it. This is 2014, so this is 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. years ago. Kazakhstan flag, okay. Um, it was my first time when I came to US. So this was you at 20? Yeah. Okay. All right, X, scroll up a bit, let's see some more photos. Uh, all right, what about the one where she's in the black? In the middle there, in the middle of the street, blocking traffic. <laughs> Beautiful day one in New York. Okay, a little hard to tell. So pretty. Hard to make appraisals here. Only set uh, eight years She's ago. She's hot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you're better looking now than you were there. Just want to get that from you. Mm-hmm. Okay, X out of it. Uh, what about the one just next to it, to the left? The better looking now than there. Right now, I feel myself beautiful. That time, I didn't feel, unfortunately. Right. Okay. Well, that concludes my uh, inquiry as to this matter. Um, Thanks for interesting how that works. Uh, all right. Let's. Uh, you know what? Uh, what? Oh, we have to do a couple things here. So, uh, going to Kylie, you have a tramp stamp. Let's talk about that. Lower back Ca tattoo. Caught her off. Sorry. So, so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Lower back tattoo. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, can you show it? I'm just curious. Sure. It's been a minute since I've. I'll turn around. Um, I don't know where to like face that. Wait, there's the face. Uh, it's cute. It's a bow. It's a bow. What? So what's the motivation there for? Uh, what's the motivation there for? Uh, the uh, the the. The lower back tattoo, excuse me. It was just a spur of the moment, honestly. One random night. <laughs> cool. And I love bows. That's, that's cool. Good talk. <laughs> Good talk. All right. Um, There's no like, deep meaning behind it. Sorry. Were you drunk? I'm no, not, no, wait. I don't she's drink. 18. Never mind. Well, well I, I mean, that doesn't huh? stop. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, 